Days after the Bank of Ghana parried suggestions the governor must step down over the 60 billion cities loss posted for 2022, the NDT minority say Dr. Ennis Anderson must step down. Ghanaians and experts alike have over the last 10 days struggled to wrap their heads around the 55 billion cities negative equity recorded by the Bank of Ghana. That negative equity and the resulting losses, according to the NDC, makes the central bank governor and his deputies liable for prosecution. In the year we are saying, the deputies, Bank of Ghana board there, or more there, or more jail bound because clearly no, we be our own cost, own cost. We are not crying. Instead, your money no, our money bond money no, no, our money your money no, our money take your money no. So, and this constitutes a crime. Minority leader Dr. Kesela Tofosin, while expressing disdain over the issue, described the debt exchange defense by the Bank of Ghana as untenable. The governor in his um, address had said that, as for him, he's done everything right and we should blame it on Kenu Foriata and Dr. Baumia for asking him to write government debt of about 48 billion off. Clearly, the Bank of Ghana in the year 2022 made a loss of 60 billion. Of this 60 billion, they wrote off about 48 billion. So it tells you that even without the write-off, the actions of the governor and his inactions has actually collapsed the central bank ahead of the, debt, the, the domestic debt exchange. The ongoing construction of a new BOG head office is indicative of the recklessness of the governor. You are broke. You have actually collapsed the economy. The next thing you do is to award a $250 million uh, uh, project. Not hospital project, not education project, not road project. The fastest going project in this country is the construction of Bank of Ghana. So how can you tell us that the country is broke when the, the, the headquarters of Bank of Ghana is going on at a speed of light? It means that this is deliberate. What will we do after the 21 days? They shouldn't try us. We have options, like we always say. Our options are in our head. We are capable of deploying options that will get him out of office by force. The clock is ticking and the wait on as to whether the NDC can force a man whose position is protected by the Constitution to leave office. Eric Mawenaigbeta, TV3 News, Accra.